Oh man, guys, they've done something crazy, but uh, in the best way possible. Sidewinder has been adjusted and changed a little bit to make him easier to get. Sidewinder has notoriously been the most difficult legendary to get here in Call of the Wild the Angler. But they've done a couple things to make him easier. One is they took away the trait where you have to reel fast. You don't have to reel fast anymore, so that's really nice. And the other thing that is different about him this week is his location. He is in one of the easiest to get to locations and easiest to fish locations on the entire map. Golden Ridge Reserve has a lot of really deep holes that Sidewinder used to hide in. This one over here, this one over here, and then if you were lucky, you would end up getting him over in this area. However, they have finally made it so he's a little bit easier to catch because his new location this week is right here. Now it is currently 11-9-2023, so November 9th of 2023. I believe he's going to be in rotation for another five days, so get him while you can because this is probably going to be the easiest chance you'll ever have at Sidewinder. Now for the setup, I am using the uh, Grar Grar X. I'm using the True Mediator. I'm using the 99 pound braid and a three out crankbait just to switch it up a little bit because I've always caught him on the uh, the four out and the worm, which I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So hopefully we'll catch him with this crank. Pretty much any of the lures that are listed in the handbook as something that he enjoys uh, fighting is going to work so spoon spinner tube worm crankbait jerkbait and then just go for like the biggest sizes that you can get or close to the biggest size so now it's time for us to try and get this beast let's uh see if we can manage to get him in now i have seen people catch sidewinder on 55 pound setups and i think some people have even got him on 33 pound setups but that's going to take a lot of skill to be able to do and you got to really know how to tire a fish out so i wouldn't recommend going that light 55 pounds seems to be like the minimum weight tackle you're going to want to use for Sidewinder. Otherwise, it's just going to be a really difficult time. But I would honestly just go with whatever the heaviest is you can get because you're going to need it. This guy fights hard, even on the best rod and reel and line in the game. It still takes like seven plus minutes in a lot of scenarios. Well, I cast out the crankbait for about 10 minutes with no luck, so I've decided to switch over to the worm. Let's see if that ends up working. I'm assuming that it probably will because it's going to stay near the bottom for a lot longer. And it's going to uh, hopefully stay within his striking range for longer. Because that crank I feel just doesn't get down into the depths fast enough and it doesn't stay there long enough. So hopefully this will do a little bit better. There we go. He's on finally. We have finally hooked into Sidewinder. And it looks like all we needed was the worm. We are about to have a really, really long fight because Sidewinder is an absolute beast of a fish. 45% drag it is, I guess. Oh, man. Here goes the fight of a lifetime once again for the second time. This will be my second Sidewinder. You guys have already seen the first one on the channel quite a while ago. But uh, this is going to be... Quite different because of the location. We've got him in a much better location, so I'm hoping we can get him in faster. He is putting up a fight and a half, though. Yeah, there he goes, just running like crazy. You know, it's always an exhilarating fight with Sidewinder. I don't think there will be many other opportunities for a fish to be more crazy than Sidewinder. Though it does sound like with Aguas Claras, they are going to have a new biggest fish in the game whenever they release the legendaries. So that actually is pretty exciting. We might have a contender to take over the top spot as the most difficult or largest legendary fish in the game. So I'm excited to see what Aguas Claras is going to bring in terms of the legendaries because we still don't know what they're going to be at this point. There's a lot of uh, a lot of speculation that it's going to be something like a mirror carp or a common carp, as well as like an eel and a xander, due to like some clues spread throughout the uh, notes that you can pick up in that map. But uh, nobody really knows for sure yet. One thing that is for certain, Sidewinder is a beast, and he's just ripping line out like it's nothing. We are slowly getting him in, though. The second that we get him close to the boat, he's probably going to dart off. That's what happened last time that I uh, got him was we got him close to the boat and then he immediately darted off for another run. A lot of the legendaries do that. 
So I am expecting it this time. Finally got him under 100 feet for the first time. Okay, I thought he was going to go back past 100, but we did manage to keep him under 100 feet. He's definitely starting to tire out, but like I said, he'll probably have that little burst of energy at the end. Here we go. We got him to 35, 30, 25. Okay. He, uh, he's still got a lot of fight in him. A lot of fight in him still. We got him down to 15, though. Let's hope that he just stays. Of course, we got one last run there. Yeah, here's that little burst of energy at the end that I was talking about. He's back out to 35, and I don't know if we're going to get him close anytime soon now. Yeah, he's really, really taking off now. Already back out to 55 feet. That is crazy. Yeah, we're going to have to do all of that reeling in all over again because he decided to really uh, take it back out there. And he's just doing it in slow increments, too. Like, he's not even taking it all out at once like he did the last time that I fought him. He's just taking me out, like, every 20 or 30 seconds, another 5 feet. It's like, <laughs> he's just kind of teasing us. He's kind of teasing us, making us want to get him in even more. You know, every time I get him down to, like, 40, he shoots back out to 60. Okay, this may be it. Oh, he's going to run one more time. Ooh, we stopped him at 10. Come on, Sidewinder. And we got him. There he is. Sidewinder has been slain. 110.69 pounds. 8 minutes and 27 seconds. I feel like that took longer than my first attempt. We hooked into him way quicker, though. I mean, we've only been recording for 27 minutes. We did our brief little guide at the beginning and then started casting out. Got him pretty quickly, honestly. So I think it's safe to say that this is the uh, best location that we've ever had for Sidewinder. This is the easiest he's ever been in terms of actually hooking into him and finding him. Now, landing him is still a chore. It's still very tough to land Sidewinder because you need very heavy tackle for it. But it's definitely more achievable than it used to be. And holy crap, he looks so good in this little trophy pose mode. This is great to see. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching this little video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope that it was helpful, and I hope that you all get your Sidewinder as well. Leave a comment down below if this was a helpful video, and hit that like button before you go, as it's a massive help to the channel. Consider subscribing if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!